that you believe I found my way I didn't need you or all of my filthy Too mistakes. young to understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that's, that's like, that's deep and big. <laughs> The whole idea of the title and the, and the song that came with it was sort of like coming to terms with this idea of like, I don't have it all figured out, but I'm kind of okay with that. Right. From what I've heard, the depth of your music isn't very Bahamian. And when I say Bahamian, it doesn't, it's not a calypso or, no. a, or a merengue or a, um, an island vibe as such. For me, no matter what genre it falls into, right. it starts with like, um, and honesty, is the, is the, are the lyrics, are they real, you know, do, are, are they meaningful? And so I think you could do any kind of music, but as long as it's your thing. La, la, la. Who influenced you at the beginning, you think? Um, I've always been drawn to the singer-songwriters, obviously. Like the, David Bowie has like this famous interview where he's like, you know, don't play to the crowd, like don't play to the gallery like that. Mm -hmm. But in the end, like, I want to be able to play things that are just important to me. You know? I may not hold strong. And are you going to take this album on the road at all, or what's your plans for it? The big thing I'm super excited about that I've sort of been telling everybody is later this summer, uh -huh. actually, I'm, I'm planning to head over to San Antonio, Texas to okay. work with a, a producer named Chris Jacoby. So we're going to work on more of like a full length record. Nice. Um, Very cool. And I'm, I'm stoked, yeah. So, yeah. couldn't be more excited for you. Please, by all means, keep us posted and um, take us out of here with, uh, with some good stuff. Yeah.